Hi, everybody. I'm Sonia Baghdadi. And I'm Darren Kramer. It is looking more and more tonight like we will be feeling the effects of Hurricane Sandy here in Connecticut. There are some new models that show the storm could be on our doorstep by Monday. Storm teammates Erica Martin continues to track Sandy tonight. What's the latest, Erica? All right, well, Darren and Sonia, uh, the good news is that it looks like Hurricane Sandy has been downgraded to a Category 1. Now, let me explain to you. The wind speeds, the parameters for a Category 1 include wind speeds between 74 and 95 miles per hour. We're currently seeing 92 miles per hour. But let us go ahead and follow its path as it moves parallel to the eastern seaboard there. Notice that uh, we are starting to see that it certainly will start to take a northwesterly path there and enter the uh, United States, uh, most likely uh, as a tropical storm, uh, but we will certainly feel a lot of energy and certainly fast moving wind speeds. I want to go ahead and show you a couple of things there. There is the jet stream that actually pulled in category, this category one uh, Hurricane Sandy. And as we take a look here, we can see, I mean, I want to I show you the, the width of the uh, wind speed there about, uh, let's see here, 995 miles if you measure the distance of the the wind field of uh, Hurricane Sandy. Now I've got more information for you, my extended full uh, forecast, of course, but really all eyes are on Sandy. Storm teammates all over that. I've got more details. In the meantime, back to you.